Owen. Owen, everybody. It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day to day today. Switching it up a little bit outside. Beautiful outdoors. You can see me holding the phone up in my glasses. You see it? Beautiful day outside, man. I just thought I'd show these shoes outside. A couple of misconceptions about people who haven't got their pairs of this yet about the color. Is it the right color? Is it like the OG? Is it fire? I'm here to tell y'all these are fire. I haven't opened these boxes yet. I finally got my pair in, or should I say pairs in, because it's double up action in the city. You feel me? Shout out to my guys for getting my pairs shipped through. They took a while to ship through, but they finally came both pairs. Not sure if I'm keeping both pairs yet. Let's go ahead and get into these. We're going to do a little personal view, POV, if you will, on the sneakers outside. And I wanted to do it while the sun was still shining so we can get this true look at them. The true color. You feel me? Let's go ahead and do it. After I took that swift L on sneakers out, my guys came through. Underscore, underscore, I love kicks, a.k.a. Rodney, sent this pair right here. And Alan Turner. Uh, AKA Ace Good Kicks on Instagram sent me this pair right here. So let's go on ahead and get into these things. Personal view. Got my trusty blade. Also got my trusty fours on today. <laughs> what you know about them, bro? What you know about them foes? Resale price down went up. Stupid, ridiculous. Glad I kept my pair with that Nike app on that ass. By the way, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the shoe. Trusty blade action. Let's go ahead and open up. Which one came first? Allen's, his pair came first. This the one I hit up and I said, I already knew Rodney was sending this pair. And I told Allen, I said, he said, I, mean, I got them to you for retail. I got both of these for retail plus shipping. He told me, um, if you want them, I still let you get them. I still look out. And even after I told him I had a pair on the way. Um, so shout out to you, bro, for looking out. And we have to open that treasure open that treasure ahoy matey my treasure is finally open yes sir gonna pull you guys out into the sunlight so y'all can see get my knife all right so this is the first pair as y'all can see you know what this you see this box you know what they are and you know what's going on with them man 12 action oh no if you can see that for your mind. Let's go ahead and open this one up. This one took forever to come on. What was going on with the post office on their pair right here? This one took forever to come. Another one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My guy done sent some goodies with it. He sent the shirt action. Says Blessed Souls. I don't know if that's his clothing brand. But he sent it on the CSG Champs. These are the Champs tees, which I already know for a fact. Um, it's very good tees. I buy these tees. I got one on right now. I appreciate the t-shirt, my guy. That's good looking out. Extra large, my size. That's perfect. I'm not going to read the note on here. I'm going to check it out myself. All I'm going to show is I enjoy, uh, enjoy the Raging Bulls. They are clean. Rodney Cooper, underscore, underscore. I love kids. I'm going to put a second pair out. And uh, got a little sunlight left out here, so I want to make sure that I get... Good look at these with the sunlight shining. You feel me? So, Raging Bulls, double time action. Raging Bulls, Raging Bulls. Let's go ahead and just take a look at them, man. I got receipt action going. It's a foot action pair right here. Whew. Look at these little cards in here. Oh, this is Rodney's. So, right, apparently, this is Rodney's uh, clothing right here. He makes these uh, Blessed Souls t shirts. Rodney, aka Blessed souls in st louis it's crazy because this pair came from st louis and i think that pair came from i want to say texas why well, I, I uh blacked out the address and stuff like that anyway foot action pair raging bull things just in case you got anything misconstrued about this colorway these are in fact fire fire right here boy the red is on point getting in the light that red is on point right there boy there we go that's a good look at them right there y'all see my mini grill that's just for little hamburger little hot dog actually hamburgers and stuff anyway <laughs> that red is immaculate 
Just in case anybody can confused about the color. <sighs> had a little, little guy on there. Had to get him off. Man, these are hard, bro. My personal pairs. I don't know which one I'm keeping. Like I said, even the craftsmanship and everything looks good on these pairs. So I'm not really, what's that? Uh, little guy right there too. Let's get him off. He came right off. Okay, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm making my decision of which one I'm going to keep if I do, if I don't keep both of them. Are these double up worthy? Y'all come below and let me know. Are these, in fact, double up worthy? That's it. That's one pair. Y'all comment below if y'all went after these. Y'all got them. You already know the deal. Comment below and let me know how y'all was feeling about the Raging Bull Air Jordan 5 action. So, that's... That's one pair. Shout out to my guy, Rodney. Both of these guys, both of these guys mess with your boy Rich and Rich Nation Heavy because they ship them first. They ship the shoes first. That's the first pair. And this is the first pair that came. Shout out to my guy, Alan. Send these through. I need to pick up that launch over there. Uh, you start noticing stuff. I ain't been out on this uh, porch, this deck in a minute. Look how you put them in the box. <laughs> That's a way to put them in the box. I ain't hating on you. Look like the side sticker came out too. Um, from the inside But this pair he didn't send a receipt with this one. Did he? Yeah, he did. He did send a receipt. This is a finish line pair. So um, Make sure ain't none of his yeah, He paid cash. So I just don't be wanting to show nobody Any kind of information in any way, but this is another pair as you can see the exact same <laughs> shoe It ain't like I'm showing nothing different uh, Exact same shoe man. I had to stand up with these two stand up to the moon on them as you can see, put them in the sunlight. Them, that red is immaculate. These are the Raging Bulls, man. Raging Bulls. Got a 23 on it. Got the shark teeth. Got that suede on them things. Got that black midsole. You feel me? These things red, red. I still think the originals got this deeper kind of red and it's a little thicker with the suede. But I ain't hating on these at all. I'm, these is the ones, bro. I ain't hating. This is a new pair. You ask me if I want these or the 2008s, I'm going to say these just for the fact that they're a new pair. 2008s are fire, but no yellowing on my netting. Like new shoes, man. Know a lot of people like the vintage. And the certain shoes that they make the vintage shoe look on purpose, I dig that. But you can tell it. You can still tell they new shoes. These are new shoes. New shoes. Face that. Uh, <laughs> So that's it, man. That's it. A little personal view. Y'all comment below and tell me y'all think of the first person, the first person view of the Raging Bull Fives. Fire pairs on deck. Shout out to Rodney. Shout out to my guy Allen once again. Shout out to uh, Rodney for the t-shirt, by the way, too. I got to uh, read his note, see what he got to say to the kid. Like I said, I just want to keep looking at him. I know that's it's crazy. Y'all done seen this shoe a million times. I love the fact that they got the wood um action going on on the uh, box as well or on the like paper and um man out of both of y'all man for looking out for me i know i was saying like a treasure chest which i still say it looked like a treasure chest on the box but a lot of people telling me this is like the cage that they had a bull in a little, little the little part where the bull be in with them they hold him in before he come out there and uh do the bull run man running to the red Running into the red, man. You know what I'm saying? These are hard. The boxes, five boxes. And then so the main thing that's dope about these shoes is they actually came. Um, he got a name on here. He was already. Rodney Cooper confirmed. Um, the main part that's dope about it is these are 190. So you get a special box, you get a, a highly anticipated shoe, and you only pay 190 instead of 250, 225, like I thought they was gonna go with them. Since they know everybody wanted these pairs coming up, man. Been wanting these pairs for a long time. Back in the day, I act like the double pack was too much money. It was too expensive. But in actuality, it was like two, I was like three, 300, 325, 350, something like that. I know those packs went up a little bit over time. But I mean, compared to nowadays, you, you resell. A lot of people pay that 300 just for this one pair. And it's crazy because the uh, pack with the other fives, the, the 3M joints or whatever back in the day, um... It was three, like I said, it was between three and 350. You know what I'm saying? So times change, um, but I'm glad I got me a pair, two pair to be exact. Don't know what I'm 
I don't know if I'm keeping both of them yet. Resale ain't super high. Ain't like I'm trying to like bust nobody head. Anyway, but my question to y'all is the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bulls uh, double up worthy? I know a lot of y'all said you crazy as hell rich for saying them Ama Men Years is the shoe of the year. And I read like most of those comments to the point where I got tired of reading people saying, no, rich, you tripping rich. I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Just my opinion. Uh, back in the day, I would have said these Raging Bull 5s. I would have said Carmine 6s, but I, as I've seen shoes retro over and over again, they start to get stale a little bit. I still love those OG sneakers, but they just start to get stale just a little bit. And when you're talking about shoe of the year, I like to try to stick to something. Even, even though it's still a retro, it's not a new uh, silhouette, I still try to stick to something a little bit more new and different. Like a lot of the collaborations, when they do different, it only had to be a collaboration. You know what I'm saying? When they do something different with the shoes, a lot of people surprised I put Jordan 7 Greater Chinas in my top 10 for 2020. I just like the different stuff that they did with it, man. It's not the original. It's not the, I mean, the original still going, if it's a, a shoe that I love, like I said, number one last year was my Flint 13. So no cap. I'm still, I still love the OG. But um, <clears throat> every now and then, I'm more impressed when they do something different and they throw some dope materials because all the OG Jordans didn't have super fire dope materials when they released the first time. And a lot of times these collabs come out and they just put, they all, they get creative and they put everything into these retros, man. So I still love the A Mom Munir, still waiting on somebody to look out for my size. Those shoes are going down in price. So maybe this next release, the price will drop low enough to fit between my five or $600 price range. But this video is about the Raging Bull Fives and y'all comment below and let me know what y'all think about them. I know I'm late on this video putting it up, but the shoe is still fire regardless, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation, stand all the way up to them beautiful skies on them today. And of course to the moon on them. And keep watching my video for this what I'm here for. Gone. Spaceship. <laughs> Going to the moon on them. Yeah. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early hits from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches, kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going to the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop the gift for. Yeah. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on them hey. Hey. To the moon